Obama administration. No. Okay. Now, no how political did, view. How did you decide on this? Oh my gosh, we got two. Oh, to, uh, uh, we're vacationing. They're, and they're not part of Obama's <laughs> staff, so please tell me, how did you decide on this costume, if you will? Just a quick idea. Uh, what we're layer of hell are you guys at? Because I know it's many layers. What layer are you guys from? The bottom. The very bottom. This is like the, I think that's called Tatarist Mike. It's the uh, yeah, hottest, I think it is, the yeah. It's place in hell. So, how is it really done? You guys keep your hands, that's why the red, right? Yeah, it's, 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 the sun's bright, so. Okay, I know you have no political views, but let me ask you, ma'am. Do you think Obama is the savior of the world or the Antichrist? See, she doesn't want to give any information out, Mike, because she knows the answer. She doesn't want to tell the viewers. I see her calculating here. Antichrist would be our child. Not my child. Said, and Obama will not be your not child. My child. All right, guys. Anything else you want to say about the seventh layer of hell? Taxes okay. are higher. <laughs> Taxes are higher, Mike. We got definitely. All right, guys. All my best. Heat it up. Turn off the flames. Thank you. Yeah. Ma'am, please explain this wonderful costume. By the way, you look very lovely, you and your daughter. So, what costume do we have here? Thank you. I am uh, the Fertile Fairy. I started as Blue Fairy, but have recently become pregnant, so I'm now in the Fertile Fairy. The fur oh, the fur you're, fairy. Did you say really? you're with child? Yes. Oh, you are? Well, congratulations. Now, how do fairies get pregnant? I didn't know that's how that works. Is that like when humans do it? Um, a little more magical. Really? Wow, so like some magic wand, if you will? <laughs> exactly. A very enchanted <laughs> magical wand. Now, what about your lovely little daughter here? What is she? Oh! Telly, look in the camera. What are you? Belle. Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, and, and absolutely. What a, and what a lovely costume you have there. So here's a question for you. So I'm gonna hold you up. Do you think Obama is the Antichrist or the Savior of the world? No, I am not an Obama fan. Sorry. Oh, any words you want to say? We finally found someone that's not Obama supporter. Someone who's not afraid to state we, their yeah, mind. Yeah, state your mind, ma'am. I can't wait for another election to get him out of office. So you don't want to see him a second term? Never. Woo! I think there's something to be said about blue fairies with lovely little daughters. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Have Thanks a, great a lot. Day. Appreciate it. <laughs> Mike, before you even ask the question, give a whole shot of this this, this person's this body. This young lady, and yes, she is. She is fearless. I mean, this is not a costume. This is paint, right? This all paint, this except for this, all paint. except for this part right here. Now that was something that was paint too. Did you? Okay, ma'am, what is it? You? What are you? I'm a red dragon. You're a, a what? A red dragon. A red. You got another costume for other days? What? What was your costume yesterday? So you come every day with a different costume. Yeah. Mike, this is dedication. Like I don't even know anybody else has done well, every day. Yeah, no. Do you do you like try and like push the envelope like every day? Oh no, this is as far as the envelope gets pushed. Because <laughs> so I, like, I wanted you to tune in tomorrow. Is this your best costume? Yeah. This weekend. It is. So what you got tomorrow won't pop this. Okay, now you said called yourself the Red Dragon, right? Mm -hmm. Are you the Red Dragon they talk about in Revelations in the, in the Old in the New Testament? Is this, is, this, is this the dragon we've been waiting for? Oh, you mean the one that's bringing hell to Earth? That's me. Oh my gosh, Mike, this cannot she's be so cool. happy about I'm it. I'm actually interviewing <laughs> the, actually, the, the dragon from the Revelation, so let me ask you a question. What do you think about Obama? Is he the savior of the world or the Antichrist? And you should know. It's, it's, I think a oh, picture, <laughs> one picture, I says mean, a million yeah, words. I, I, I think we don't have an Obama supporter here. I don't believe that. Doesn't no, seem like it. Not. Very good. This person is making a statement. Well, what do you make a statement about them? About not teaching evolution in high school unless you're going to teach all versions of evolution, which include the version that says that the universe was created by a giant flying spaghetti monster. Now this is news, news to me. I've never heard this before. Is this like, is this uh, a, a Bible or something we have not read or it's coming out? Well, there, there is a, a movement. I mean, it was started by Bobby Henderson um, in Kansas. He was fighting the Board of Education. He wanted to teach creationism in school. And he said, if you're going to teach creationism, you should teach all versions of it. Are you part of the Obama administration? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Is there somebody in that costume with you? Is Obama here now? <laughs> Tell us, ma'am. I'm looking. No, he's not. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh,